Assalamualaikum uh, and very good afternoon to our to Dr. To Dr. and fellow friends. Uh, so we are from uh, group two. Uh, gonna present our chapter, which is chapter five, science, fiction, and Islamic technology. Uh, my group member, Muhammad Yusri bin Muhammad Tam, uh, Muhammad Arif Fikri, Muhammad Shabi bin Salaha, Ahmed Abdullah Abdul Rahman, and myself, Haifa Ayuni bin Timwazi. Next. So, uh, the first objective for the chapter 5 is to discuss about the characteristics of science and technology in Islam. Uh, second, to differentiate between science and technology in Western and Islamic views. Next. So, for the characteristics uh, of science and technology in Islam, uh, the first one is a source of revelation. Second, science and technology activities are worship. Third, are uh, not value free. Fourth, uh, in favor of the truth. Uh, evidence-based operations are subjective and well-intentioned. Uh, the last one is goals don't justify the way. Next. So the first uh, characteristic is Islamic science and technology sources of revelation. Islamic science and technology is the source of the Quran which is the revelations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, it is found in the Quran, the verses talking about touching revelation about the realm of thought, enlightenment, and science. When Islamic science resources revelation, then the focus of Islamic science is to benefit. And all the activities must be in this book, allowed uh, and try of to harm and harm to society and the environment. Next. For the second characteristic is science and technology. Activity is worship. Uh, studying science and technology in Islam is worship. This means that science is a tool to achieve devotion to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This coincides the sense of worship that is referring to the subjection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in obedience all the all that is commanded and forbidden. Demand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the yet uh, verses 51 says 56 which means I do not make sin and men but work to me. Next. In the context of science and technology as worship it must be meet the following goals and objectives. First, bring someone to know and know God. Closer, second, closer and closer to someone which is precious, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The third, uh, it can increase the faith and faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to experience concentration and experimentation is time. But can fit work well balanced spiritual and physical good Islam, good Muslims. In addition, it can improve the dignity of being the family man who excels in everything, intellectual, physical, and spiritual aspects. Next. This enables humans to achieve their goals and objectives its existence. Uh, as the servants and colleagues of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by enhancing worship and performing functions and role for the for personal, family, community and well-being country. Six, uh, enable humans to exploit natural resources and source of the natural gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala efficiently and effectively fulfill his role as the caliph of God above face of the earth. Seven, to produce a knowledgeable, cultural, informed, informative, and can shape the personality of a Muslim, individual, humble, 
consider and can be benefit to other people. Next. So uh, I pass to the other members to, to present their part. Thank you. Okay, coming to the next characteristics of uh, Islamic science, uh, which is not a free value. This is mean uh, when we come to say freedom in Islam has its limit and is bound by social responsibility in life. Science and Islamic technology are therefore not value free and are subjected to a certain value and ethics. So the main principle of Islamic ethics um, uh, in science and technology is to fulfill the moral responsibility of which the guidelines are was established by the Sharia, uh, which state the lawful things is illegal, obligatory, must knowledge and um, uh, circum circum circumcision. Uh, this is included by uh, fulfilling the responsibility, uh, caring the beauty and the uh, education of the nature. The nature do not spoil and destroy the environment, um, and so on. So, coming to the next uh, slide, we show some uh, values um, like. Uh, Religion, uh, religious values in science also create mo motivation leading to development in other fields of science. The development of astronomy, for example, is linked to uh, religion as it, uh, as it came for, uh, from the desire of the Muslim uh, society to determine the beginning of um, uh, Ramadan, the fasting month, Eid, and the day of uh, Wukuf, stay at the Mount of Arafat. Uh, in other fields, for example, uh, mathematics, it's, uh, it's development due to the society desire to implement Mu'amala, uh, which is Islamic civil and commercial transactions. Um, and uh, the distribution of inheritance and zakat. So the next, uh, next slides also show another um, characteristic of Islamic uh, science. Uh, which is in favor of the truth. Islamic science and technology must be on the side of truth and stay, stay away from the falsehood. Uh, therefore, Islamic science activities are necessarily carried out uh, in accordance with the Quran and its limitation described by Islamic law. Uh, also, the scientific value of Islamic science and technology is subject to how far the truth in science can be found uh, someone to the truth, which is the hub or absolute truth, which is the source of the existence of beings. So in this case, science is supported as a um, as belief can uh, strengthen uh, the religion that uh, that's believed to be faith. The next slide um, is talking about uh, another character, and I will pass uh, I will pass it to another team member. Next is the evidence based operation is good and based on good intention. In Islam, science and technology must be in the truth and avoid evil in all aspects. Islamic science activity should be carried out in accordance with the limit of the Quran and the Sunnah according to the Islamic law. Scientists must assure, must assure the effect of the investigation that have been carried out, whether good or bad, worship of Allah, his practice and his purpose must be good. Otherwise, the analysis does not follow the characteristic of Islam. As stated in Surah An-Nisa, verse, verse 4, about the importance of sincere attention has been emphasized by Allah in everything we, in everything we do based on Tawhid. Next, as by verse, an expert science only interests about the creation of new knowledge and discover it used for the world of science and technology, and invest not favor in truth. And third, most of the observations of the natural world are empirical and scientific, as 
offer a scientific explanation based on their analysis. And the mission of science was to discover the law of nature and thereby explain all natural phenomena. This concept in science gave rise to the philosophical movement called positive autism, which led to widespread trust in science and technology and in fact the law of nature. Then number six, gold does not justify the way. Basically, this concept never exists in every perspective of Islam, even though the main idea of science and technology are intended to advance, but immoral and non-Islamic ways are not allowed at all. Born by the Sharia of Islam, based on the Quran and the Sunnah, whatever our goal must, based on the Quran and Sunnah, no matter what the goal we want to achieve and the method we use. Next. Uh, in Islam, all acts, practice, and intention and means must be accepted by the Sharia, and its goal are also not contrary to the Sharia. We are not allowed to use any means to achieve a good goal allowed by Sharia, but the way and the road are illegal in Islam. For example, the willingness of certain 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 individual today to succeed in politics, business, science, and others by defeating by defeating others has become a trending phenomenon nowadays. This is due to the fact that they do not align themselves with Islam element of science and technology. Halal and illegal in Islam are determined by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not by the goal they want to achieve as it is still illegal. Next. Uh, in some point, Islam have authorized for areas. In Islam, in some case, Islam justify the means to achieve a goal that is more important and more important than the way it's taken. There are four there are four points, which is Muhammad, family, property, and crime. For example, in Muhammad, uh, as stated in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 173, this verse clearly shows that in order to achieve the goal of life, is the this is the misachieve of life. It is mer 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 permissible for a Muslim to practice an unlawful way of eating illegal food in order to achieve its goal of survival. This is because the importance of sustaining life is, great, is greater than eating it illegally. So under compulsory circumstances, the way it has originally meant to be temporary. That's all I think. Next, I will pass to my member. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, I will continue the next topic, which is the features of theology for Islamic science and technology. There are six features. The first one is Tawhid. The second one is unity of knowledge, followed by tenority of reasons, scientific mechanism to achieve divine service to God and achieve his wisdom. Science in Islam follows strong morals and effective laws, such as ethics. Science is a fantastic way to open the truth of God and the road to achieve knowledge. The first the first feature is Tawhid. Tawhid constitutes the foremost article of the Muslim profession of faith. The first part of the Shahada, the Islamic declaration of faith, is the declaration of belief in the oneness of God. The science Tawhid, which is monotheism, and purification is the third category targeted by the scientific training of those who want to follow the path of knowledge, which is in the fact the main purpose of the purposes of religion. The second point it is, is the familiarity of knowledge. Islam had lots of familiar knowledge that is on par with the science knowledge itself, such as the space, uh, uh, the facts of uh, space uh, in Quran, which is, which is uh, proved by scientific reasons. And the, the, the next one is familiarity of reasons. The theory of Islamic science and technology incorporates the metaphysical cause which is represented as the condition of destiny of Allah SWT and the horizontal cause. Allah SWT is the first cause of all, while other causes including angels and spirits of the supernatural are considered to be the second cause of the Islamic cosmological function. Science is also a way to achieve God's wisdom. 
Studying science and technology in Islam is a religion. This means that science is a tool to achieve devotion to Allah SWT. And learning science can increase faith in Allah SWT through experience, concentration, and experimentation. The next one is uh, science in Islam follows strong morals and effective law, such as ethics. This is because Islamic science and technology are related to the moral principles divided by the Sharia. A set of values based on the Quran and Sunnah. The application of knowledge and technology is thus closely related to the practice of moral obligation, including human rights, the rights of fellow human beings, and the right to Allah. And the, la the last feature is the science is a fantastic way to open the truth of God and the road to achieve knowledge. Islamic science and technology emphasize that proof-making operations must be subjective and well-intentioned. This is important to ensure excellence and prominence in Islamic science and technology activities. The basic principle of Islamic ethics in Islamic science and technology is to follow the moral duty, <coughs> is to follow the moral duty laid down by the Sharia, which includes halal, unlawful, mandatory, violent, and circumcised. This involves being fair in upholding obligations, maintaining beauty, and protecting nature, not harming or killing it. I will, uh, the next slide will be continued by my fellow friend. Assalamualaikum. So let's move to the scientific characteristics, characteristics of science and technology based on Islam. There are six characteristics. Uh, first, first is objective. So uh, in science and technology, Islam has to done process uh, verification and justifications. And Islam science is objective because it provides a criteria to decide whether some scientific knowledge is accepted or not by its practitioner. Second characteristic is logic. So uh, logic method is uh, actually applied widely in Islamic intellectual. For example, uh, practice of energy or chaos in Islamic law and also practice of logic or mantik in ilmu al-kalam and also it is used in a deductive method in Islam philosophy. For example, for uh, energy law, uh, we take example uh, alcohol. We know is alcohol is haram, right? So it is chaos with some, uh, it is chaos with haram of drugs because due to the same reason. Uh, next is empirical. So empirical is an uh, experiment and observation where it is implemented widely in astronomy field and also in medical field where the uh, establishment of observatory center and also hospital university. So uh, empirical method also used in all field of Islamic science. Uh, next. For the next strategy is synthesis. Uh, synthesis is a method combination between different of thought and invention as something that comprehensive on you. There are uh, some element signs from other civilizations such as Greece, India, Parsis and other that are combined with elements from Islam civilization. Uh, and also synthesis is an uh, important criteria in uh, formation of Islamic science and it also start with translation activity uh, around 705 until 900 Masih. For example, uh, there are combination between there are form of combination between Al Quran and Sunnah with application of culture knowledge from Greeks towards Islam culture. So the next for the next chapter is analysis, which uh, is used in solving of size problems where it, it will create data and information where this data and information will be familiar to new invention. So, for example, uh, there are research from Ibn Sina and Al Razi, which is uh, which they have the quality of analysis and encyclopedia, which is uh, Al Kanu Al Fi, Atib, and Al Hawi. And the last characteristics for science and technology based on Islam is uh, Islam in only science and technology from other situation also. As long as the uh, knowledge uh, coincide with uh, Islam Sharia. And also there are cooperation between Muslim and Muslim technocrat. For example, uh, Hunan Ibn Shah, which is a Christian translator and also a physician, and Judith Ibn Idris Jibril, which is a physician. 
we uh, Hunaid Ibn Isha uh, gain Jibril's his recommendation after studying Greek for several years, which allowed him to become known in later centuries for his translation. Okay, next. So, for conclusion. Uh, okay, so uh, okay, so for our conclusion, follow our presentations is uh, generally science and technology Islam is different to the West because first main resource is Al Quran and Sunnah. Second, in science activity, it is written that they are influenced with high moral values and ethics. Third, uh, activity of Islam science is within the scope of worship to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that has its own guideline and boundary in order to gain success. Blessing and pleasure from Allah Subhanahu Taala, and all all the activity is done by following religion in Islam Sharia. And lastly, universality in science and technology Islam is not only because they contribute because they contribute consists from various groups of scientists, but also from others community and civilization. I think uh, that's all from us. Group five. Uh, thank you. <laughs>